I have no dream. I'm on disability. I can't do nothing. If I could work, I'd work it. The only work I have is on the street. Mm. I'd have to beg for change to get something to eat. Or else I'd turn to stealing and I'd wind up getting money and using. It was it was a, a very a very powerful cycle that I was caught up in. Um, but without the help that I was given, I would very likely still be on the street injecting drugs, committing crimes, looking at either jail, death, or a mental institution. I've been there before, yeah. I have been there when I actually was incarcerated at one time and I had no place to go and I didn't want to move to PA and all my family kind of like, I guess you could say migrated back to, Sa migrated to Saskatoon here. I've had a kind of an up and down life up until now. I'm not going to lighten that maybe in the future, but right now, and I'm pregnant. This happens to be my fourth child. Right now, I'm first things first, continue coming to this program and keep making the calls to get into my place. Yeah. I already got it, and I had to keep my place. As soon as I'm in there, I keep my place, right? Yeah. Fill out applications for low income, yeah. considering I am bringing a baby in this yeah. world. From there, just maintain life till I get into school, and then from school, just take one day at a time, you know, considering I will have yeah. a baby by then in a short time, I gotta kinda work with that, and then that's the short term as I'm gonna plan for now. Yeah that I'm not, you know, ruined, that I'm not broken because I, of the mistakes that I made, because of the things that happened to me while I was on the street. That didn't destroy me, didn't ruin my chances. And also, there were some great resources. Uh, the school, Nutana, they're, they're oppor giving opportunities to adults to come and upgrade. There's, so, there's support services here. Are, are some of the things that really helped me. And the social programs, EGADs, youth drop-in centers, those maintained my connection with society. Even if some of these programs are working with people who don't necessarily want to change at the time, I guess a lot of people might think, why would you want to help them if they're not going to change? Why would you want to help a drug addict and feed a drug addict who doesn't want to stop using? Well, the fact is, is someday they are going to want to stop. Nobody wants to use forever because it hurts. One of the few memories that I remember crystal clear from when I was on the street in Victoria is when a uh, husband and wife uh, took me out for coffee one day. And they weren't just doing their charity. A lot of people would come and they'd give you a coffee and they'll give you your muffin and say, have a good day, and they walk away. These people, they talked to me. And we had a conversation and we wound up talking about just a book that I had read uh, and they had read as well. And I remember that. I mean, that's not what allowed me to change my life. But uh, it's things like that that can really uh, make a difference. The one thing that would have prevented me from going through the things that happened to me would have been to have a, a friend that could help me not just with securing funds to get a place and not just getting the place and not just getting the job, but, but sort of putting all those pieces of the puzzle together. Right now, there are kitchens where you can go to eat. There are social services that will provide you with a check for rent if you meet their criteria, which unfortunately, there are a lot of people who don't. Um, and there are programs that will help you get into employment, but there's nowhere that helps you put them all together. I get worried about you know people out there now that it's winter time and it kind of disturbs me and feel sorry for them and you want to take them in. Yeah. So we help them out. <coughs> we help them out and we let them, you know, 
We'll let them, we'll make a bed for them. Like, I don't know, it's so nice. Because we, we went through that before. Mm -hmm. We were like, homeless. Like when people took us in, that's how we... Managed to take other people. Other people, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Even this one night, when we were living uh, over here on Avenue S, this was like around 2, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. All of a sudden, knock, knock. We were all up in the house. Yeah. All of a sudden, knock, knock. So I go and ask her, but I didn't open it. Eh? I said, who's there? Um, it's an Indian, he goes. It's eh? just an Indian. And then, it's really? just an Indian. And I said, what do you mean? Can you let me, s I'm, what did he say? I'm homeless. I don't, I'm homeless. I don't, I don't have, have nowhere, nowhere to, to go. go. I have some beer. I'll give you a drink, he goes like that. Eh? And then, but none of us weren't drinking in the house and that, eh? And then they're like, so I opened the door, eh? I asked him. He was an old man, what's that? With a cane. cane. And it was then, like minus 40 below there, real cold. Yeah. So we're like, he goes, well, I'll sleep at your door. He goes like that. And I said, no. I told him, no, you can't. Well, I don't have nowhere to go. Would you be able to take me in? He goes like that. I looked at him and I said, honey, so we take this guy in? He goes, yep, let's take him in. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. And I still think about that old man all the time. It's been, what, a year now since yeah. the last time we've seen him. And then when we moved here, how many people we took? We took in about four, four or five people. And those two people got a place. We now helped we help them get a place. Yeah. Yeah. They have their own place down the street now, yeah. so they're not homeless now. Mm. They can't say they're not homeless now. Mm. What I would like to see things change is like to like before then the rent used to be really cheap. Like back in the years, like it was used to be four ten, four fifty, five hundred, five hundred. But nowadays, like the rent is increased like from mm. nine hundred to twelve hundred dollars per two bedroom. And, uh, and people out there don't hardly, like, <coughs> you mainly don't have any references, landlord references, or any help at all. Or, or there'd be, you'd have to share rent with people, and you don't want to share rent with people sometimes. About the city. About the city, like, just make yeah. something. Like, yeah, like, like, make, uh, like, make a homeless shelter. Like, like make couple or more and like help get other agencies to help the homeless to get them off their feet and help them get their education, get a job, you know. Just make that in balance, like straight like this and just make mm -hmm. it that way. I was